Always taking freshness to a new level. We're making chili crabs on the beach. Welcome back to Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku and today we are doing some crab snaring on the beach. And look at this, we got a ton of people on the beach here just lined up to my left, to my right. But Jocelyn and I are out here as well trying to get our crabs too. Everybody's going for Dungeness crab and we got two rods going right now. These are the scrap pieces from the herring that we filleted a couple weeks ago. So we're gonna use that to catch some crabs today. This rod's been in there for about five minutes. Uh, we could give it a check already. Oh, there's a crab on there. <laughs> but it's probably too small. Check that out. That's a male Dungeness crab, but too small. They gotta be five and three quarter inches. This guy looks like, uh, he might be like five and a half. Yeah, grab the gauge. And this is how a crab snare works. They're eating, munching on the food. And I pull that rod in, and I pull that line in, and look at that, that loop. It cinches down, and it was holding onto its claw, just as it was designed to. All right, so we have a gauge here. It's gotta be five and three quarters. Oh my gosh, he's legal. Oh no, 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 he's almost. Oh no, 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 oh no, 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 get off me. <laughs> He was gonna attack me. First pull, and we already got a keeper Dungeness crab. It looked uh, it looked a little small, but when I measured him, just over five and three quarter inches. Keeper size here in California. Very nice. Yeah, that one was on the herring. So the herring works. Quick shout out to Ken the Crab Slayer. Yeah, that was on this one right here. Oh, you got one. There's one on there. It looks pretty close too. Yeah, but he doesn't really have a claw. Look at this, <laughs> look at that claw. Oh, let me use my strong claw. Jocelyn's first pull and she got one too. Let's see if it's a keeper though. Oh, it's a keeper, it's six inches. Ooh. So the way you measure it, you gotta make sure it's, you're inside that point. And then, boom. And that, that first ridge right there, five and three quarters. Bam, as long as it doesn't, as long as it's outside of this first ridge in California and then six inches, six and a quarter. Yeah, this is six inches. Six inch crab, very nice. For crab snaring, you don't really need any fancy equipment. Although this is a fancy reel, you don't need a, a nice reel at all. You just need something that's big enough this one's a 6,000. You can use like, yeah, anywhere from six, 8,000. Those are pretty good sized reels for crab snaring. And the rod I'm using, this is called a beef stick. 12 foot, nice thick, nice thick beefy rod. You want something a little bit longer so you can cast it out further. Just get yourself a big, long, stiff rod and you'll be able to catch some crabs. They were just fighting, but I think now they just made up. They said, hey, it's okay. We're on the same boat. 
we're both going to become delicious chili crab. There might be one on here, guys. Oh, yeah. There is one on there. There is one on there. Is that a keeper? Oh, that might be a keeper. Yeah. Oh, that might be a keeper. Nice. Over six inch. Nice. The inside okay. notch. And then to the inside oh, of notch of here. So hey, watch out, watch out, Bolo. Watch out, buddy. He's gonna <laughs> pinch you. Watch out, buddy. Look, you wanna see him, but don't don't get pinched. He's he looks tasty, huh? <laughs> We're gonna eat this one right here. I think this is the last one that we got. All right, sorry, buddy. Thank you for your life. Thank you for your meat. There we go, and he's done. All right, I'm gonna try to clean this as much as possible so I don't get any sand in the food. I'm gonna also crack the legs here, but just to get all that all the flavor incorporated inside the legs just gonna give it a nice crack in the legs it'll also make it easier to eat later as well in here i have some garlic onion and ginger all right plenty of that in here and you need a ton of chili obviously because this is chili crab and this is uh mostly chili from the garden and so it's uh, i just go went ahead and blended it all together that's just pure chili. Tomato paste as well. I also use some miso paste. Rice vinegar. This is just cornstarch mixed in water. You need some of that to thicken it up. Also, an egg. We're gonna have some plain steamed buns on the side as well. And we're gonna steam that up. First thing going in, onions, garlic, and ginger. Your classic Asian aromatics, you know? Next thing going in, chilies, baby. Get the chilies in there. Smells so good already. Add some tomato paste here. Sweet chili sauce. We'll add a little bit of that as well. And people normally put sugar too, but I think sweet chili sauce gives it plenty of sweetness. I'm not going to add any additional sugar. I'm going to add a bit of miso as well. Into there, some rice vinegar. It's going to need some acidity. There's so much flavor in there. And then we're going to add maybe a cup and a half or two cups of water. So that's going to that's gonna help the crab cook. And we'll bring this to a boil. And once this starts boiling, we'll throw the crabs in. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. It's spicy? Yeah. Now I'm going to put the head in there too. This is such a tasty recipe. You guys got to try it with your next Dungeness crab or actually any crab really. Oh yeah, baby. This is going to be tasty. It's going to be spicy. You ready for some spicy? Oh yeah, I'm gonna just pour it on his head too. <laughs> All right, the bun should be done now. Wow, steam bun, yeah, that's hot. That's nice, it's, not, it's done. Now I'm gonna put the lid back on the crabs and I'm gonna let these crabs go for another six to seven minutes. All right guys, we're done here. Yeah, crab is done. We're gonna thicken things up a little bit. So I'm going to add a little cornstarch water. So that kind of thickens it up right there with the cornstarch. And we're also going to add one egg. And look at that. 
Ooh. Amazing. Green onion and cilantro. Garnish, garnish that up generously. Then we'll put the crab head right on top right there. And we're gonna garnish some more. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, chili crab. Pack a cold one first, shall we? Cheers. I got my hazy IPA from Bear Bottle. I got stem cider. Hibiscus. <sighs> Alright, you wanna dip it first? Alright. Alright, let's dip. Check the sauce. Oh yeah. Mm, spicy. Spicy. Spicy is right. Alright, let's have some crab. Starting with the claw. Oh, here we go. Woo! Mm. <laughs> spicy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good. Oh, Meaty. This is so good. Oh. Probably try the crab. <laughs> <laughs> you just been eating the sauce? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Chili crab is amazing. You guys gotta try this recipe for sure. 100%. Singaporean chili crab. Dang, shout out to Singapore. This is amazing. Mm. Wow. Oh my gosh. Mm. <laughs> Sure. Doesn't get any fresher. <laughs> that is true. Got cold fast. Ah, yeah, it did get cold fast because that sun, right when it went behind the clouds, it got cold. It dropped in temperature. This is your cloth. Don't put that there. Oh, I was so hungry too. Oh, this is perfect. Yep, that's all crab meat. Yeah. My nose is runny. <laughs> oh wow. I can feel people walking by really jealous. <laughs> Let me dip my bun in a little bit of oh, the crab butter and a little bit of spicy. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so good. Okay, we're practically done with this. We got a couple legs left. Thank you for watching another episode. I appreciate it. Make sure if you like the video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs> That's okay.